there it is. Our tripod is working great and it's doing what it's supposed to do. Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I wanna to show you how to take these inexpensive 15 inch skewers and cut them down and use them to make a tripod for your Stanley two cup cook set. Stay tuned. One of the things that we have with us when we go out into the backcountry to practice our survival and bushcraft skills are tent stakes or tent pegs. And we either take them with us or we learn how to bushcraft them and make them from the environment. However, doing that requires that we cut sticks and twigs and, and we can't always find exactly what we want depending on where we are. And so it's always a good idea to have some with you. And so the idea behind this is to have lightweight pegs that will replace the ones that came with your kit or maybe you're just putting one together and you didn't have one. And this is a great way to carry some very durable lightweight pegs for your tent, for your hammock, for your bushcraft tarp or shelter, whatever you're putting up. And they're inexpensive, but it's also a really neat idea to be able to cook with them. And I wanna show you this. Now this idea is not original to me. I saw this on Instagram some time ago and I tried to look up the person because I wanted to give them credit, but I couldn't find it again. So to whoever came up with this, it's a great idea. And I thought it was worthwhile enough to show you my viewers because I think you'll like it. All right, let's get to that right now. So what I started out with was some 15 inch skewers and you get these at Walmart for about $3 for four of these and of course they are 15 inches long. What I did is I cut them down to about 8 inches and then sharpened the end. And you can do that with a file or with a bench grinder, whatever you have. So here we have our six tent pegs that we cut and sharpened on the edge. And all we're going to do is we're going to place them in the ground in a tripod type configuration. Now, the size of this will depend on the length of your stakes and also the width of the bottom of your pot. And so we wanna put them in to about the same height. And again, keeping them a little bit off the ground, but also making room for the fire to burn underneath. So once we get them put in that way, we slide in one of the pegs this way we slide in one this way, and we slide in one from this side. All right, now, if we're not level, we can go ahead and level that out, making sure that these are pushed all the way in, and now we have a nice little tripod that we can use for cooking. All right, let's get a fire started, and let's see how well it boils water. Now, depending on the size of the pot, and of course here we're using our Stanley two-cup cook set, but depending on the size, you may want to adjust this circle to fit your pot more closely and so I did that. I moved these three in for the triangle and now each one of these will help hold the pot up and keep it from sliding off while it's over the fire. There it is. Our tripod is working great and it's doing what it's supposed to do. It won't be long and we'll have a nice pot of boiled water that we can use for a hot drink or to make some ramen noodles or anything else we might wish to partake of on a cool summer evening. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure and check out the links in the description box below. And while you're down there, you'll find our Patreon link. This is where you can donate to financially support the channel. And you can do so for as little as a dollar a month. And a big thank you to everybody that's been doing so. You'll also find our spring link. This is where you can buy great Waypoint Survival branded merchandise. You'll also find our waypointsurvival.com link. And this is where you can sign up for great survival and bushcraft training classes. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.